Good morning, YouTube. Today I'm going to go pick up a freezer, a stand-up freezer, uh, with an open trailer with very small sides, probably about two foot sides, probably, I would guess, two or three foot sides on the side, totally open. Um, a little freaked out about it. Never done it before, but I'm going to walk you through what I did and see how it worked. We're going to, I'm going to load it, show you how I loaded it, then um, take a ride with it. When I get back here, I'm going to see how the trip went. So I'm just going to do a three-part uh, this opening to describe what's going to happen today uh, after it's loaded. And then when I get back home and tell you how the trip went to see if that's something you might be able to do. There's not a lot of anything on YouTube that I saw about how to move an upright freezer. They say you're not supposed to lay them down. It's bad for the compressors or you could actually damage them even more if they're um, stand-up type. Of course, not the chest kind. This is a stand-up tall one. So um, I'm, let's go see what happens. I'm going to go get it. I have about an hour's drive there and an hour's drive back. Um, so kind of winging this. I'm on the wing. <laughs> let's go see what happens. So I'm either going to be out a bunch of money or it's going to make for a good YouTube video. I don't know. Either way, I guess. All right. We'll see you when we get back. Okay, guys. I just want to show you what I'm using. Not no big deal here just a regular f-150 pickup truck and a trailer like this you can see the sides are pretty well so let's see what happens stand-up freezers are tricky I've always dropped them every single time no matter how I strap them down I'm, I've seen a couple videos where you can just strap them down from the if you put it in the front of the trailer you could strap it down over top of it and I always thought the straps would fall off but we're gonna find out today so See you in a little bit. Okay guys, here we go. Sorry, I can't see very well. The sun's in my face and we have a lawnmower in the back, but uh, I picked it up and this is what I did with it. Um, I'm using my back, my lift gate as a little, little uh, thing to secure it to. I have a lot of straps, as you can see. I got a refrigerator dolly, which is great. The polished out appliance dollies go all the way underneath so that's good. This one happens to be on some skids that they left on it. But park packing blankets up against the grate. So it doesn't you know scratch the, scratch it. Straps around the whole gate holding everything together. I don't know if you get to see that. I'm doing this blind, you guys bear with me. But that's how I'm gonna do it, and I'll let you know. How it holds up when I get home. See if it was a success. Okay, guys, just some final thoughts. Made it home safe. What a great trip. I don't think it moved a bit. Just a little bit about what you're looking at here. Um, I brought some painter's tape to take the blankets to the refrigerator because I was by myself and that held them on there long enough for me to get them up against the tailgate. Plus, it helps hold the door shut, of course, while you're doing it. Um, the, plank, the blankets work perfect. I'm using two inch straps. You don't have to use overkill like that. You could use one inch straps. Um, this worked out fantastic. There was no damage to the, my trailer, to the refrigerator, or to anything that I used. And this was absolutely the best way. I actually lost sleep over how I was gonna get this thing home because I have no luck, but this worked out fantastic. Um, leave me comments if you think you could have did something different or how you do it. But uh, thank you for watching. Here's the final refrigerator. Finally packed into my garage. It is plugged in and working perfect without a scratch. So I hope it helped. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a great day.